first and foremost, frustrated, of course. Um, the, th- the third goal, what, what a brilliant strike. No, no, no complaints. It is just a moment of class on the football pitch, and we all have to applaud that. Um, yes, we could say, well, you know, was it a poor pass? But he's put it in the roof of the net from 45 yards, so fair play to the lad. First two goals were avoidable. Um, so whether it's shape versus shape, whether they're dominating the ball, we're dominating the ball, we weren't, you know, could have scored a couple more, they could have, you know, scored a couple more. But at the end of the day, the first two goals were avoidable and disappointing goals. Um, that little bit of the rub of the green that we've had um, for games wasn't quite there for us on the two, for the two goals. Um, but I just said to the players there that we have to learn from that. I look at myself, look at my players, look at the performance. Um, did I pick the right team? Did I make the right subs? Of course we do all that. And then we have to say, can we just defend better? Can we just defend better for the goals, the first two goals? Um, and and disappointed, but it's 10 points from five games. And that's the reality of it. And it's not for a time now for overanalyzing or berating the players, not at all. Um, um, you know, it's about moving on to Friday. I think three, three defeats were like bewildering for us, really. I think we we had to take chances, and we had chances to win three or four games over the last couple, to be honest. And um, but we missed really important opportunities to get ourselves in front. You know, in glaring chances we missed. Today we took some chances, and we makes a difference. You have to score to, to win football matches, and despite you know possessionally dominating at Barnsley and Wigan and. Um, I had some great chances against Leeds, to be honest. They didn't go in and we lost the games. But today, we took three of them and we got the result that our performance level deserved, I think. And we've got two weeks of the season left. So there's, there's, there's no time for regret or, or disappointment. It's on to the next one. So I'll review that. Uh, look at where we need to be better. And we have to um, respond on Friday night in a really tough game at Fulham.